What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to the review for The Unborn, which I have. <laughs> Hold on a second. Alright, so here it is. Um, I dropped it. Uh, Unborn came out in 2009. It's a horror, ghost horror movie kind of thing. And uh, starring, now, now I, the main actress's name I can barely pronounce, it's Odette. O-D-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Tell me, like what... What were their parents, her parents thinking? Odette for a woman. That doesn't even. A anyway, <laughs> Odette Yesman plays a college student who uh, is being haunted by this little boy, a ghost that's taken the position or uh, I, the form of a little boy, and it's just a mediocre, if not bad, in every turn. Um, it, it has uh, a, a couple okay. Um, jump scares, like she'll open a door and he'll be there and bah, you know, ah, that's so scary. But overall, the movie is just a sloppy mess because she's being haunted and then it turns into this whole Nazi thing. Like, uh, it's a Jewish demon and then it's, it, you know, and she goes see this woman in a nursing home and she has a horrible uh, German accent. She was supposed to be a Holocaust survivor telling uh, the woman, I don't even know the main character's name, because this this movie does a horrible job. If not, it, it didn't even do the job of letting me care about any of the characters. You're, like, if you know, you're supposed to kind of care about the main character a little bit. You know, you're supposed to be rooting for the main character to get away from the demon or the, the murderer or something like that in a horror movie. At least that's my, my thoughts on it, and... You know, you, I didn't give a damn about any of them. Like, one, a couple of them got killed, and I was like, uh, uh, okay, that was stupid. You know, because uh, at one point, there's a little, the little boy possesses another little boy, and it's, it was completely stupid, because they, they put a CG face on him to make him look scary, like, his mouth was, like, up to here, and it was all, like, horrible teeth, and the, it looked awful. It did, and, and it was actually pretty funny, but... Overall, the movie is just a sloppy mess, and it goes, it starts out as kind of like a decent horror movie, what you'd expect, and then it goes just completely off the rails, and it just turns into this stupid sloppy mess, with some horrible CG work, and this last exorcism scene was, it was completely stupid, and, and the whole point was the ghost, or the demon, boy thing, wanted to take over the college student's womb to be born again or uh, be born into the world so it could be living which I don't understand why it would want that because it already has the little boy so it, I mean it's already in the world it has the it has the little boy why does it need to be born again it's you know it, there's plot holes galore uh, written and directed by David S. Goyer which in my eyes was a good writer until I saw this uh, he wrote um, Batman Begins. I don't know. I'm not sure if he wrote The Dark Knight, but I know for a fact he co-wrote The Dark Knight Rises, and he wrote, he either co-wrote or gave full credit to uh, a Man of Steel. He he either had he had something to do with Man of Steel. I know that. Um, and he uh, he's written a couple video games too. He uh, wrote what was it? Call of Duty Black Ops 2. He wrote the story mode for that. Co-wrote. Um, which I haven't played that. Kind of been one too, but I just can't bring myself to buy another Call of Duty game. But uh, he wrote and directed The Unborn. And it was produced by Michael Bay. So, I just... I, I think my, David S. Goyer had too much control over this. Like, it seems like when he's working with someone to bounce ideas off of, like he wrote... He co-wrote The Batman Begins or something. And, I, and Nolan had to you know, tell him what to do. It seems like when people tell him what to do, he can come up with a good story. But when he's left on his own devices, he comes up with this. And it's not good. So overall, with bad CG work, bad performances, the only one that gave a good performance was Gary Oldman. And he always gives a good performance. And I don't understand why he does movies like this. Like, why? They must have flashed some serious dough at him. And even then, it, it was super low budget. Like, some of the CG work... Like, they had this old man in a, in a nursing home crawling around with his head upside down. And it shows the head, like, turning upside down. And it looks awful. It really does. I would have preferred some a practical, like, effect of him wearing, like, this 
over thing that goes over his shoulders and his head turns around. Kind of like, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. But it, they could have done a practical effect when they did a CG effect because they're cheaping out. And practical effects would have helped this movie, I think. Because all the CG work looked awful. Like, there were a couple scenes where she was seeing stuff that wasn't really happening. And, like, shit was busting through the walls and bugs everywhere. And it just looked bad because the CG work wasn't good. Uh, overall, I would not recommend watching this. Because it's it's just all over the place. But if you, if you must watch it, don't pay more than, like, two bucks for it. If you want to own it. I got this for free from a friend of mine who didn't want it. He said it's got awful and he gave it to me. And I'm, you know, I'm always willing to watch a movie. No matter what people say about it. But unless I have a predetermined notion of whether or not I'll like it. But, you know, it's just not a good movie. And it's, I would not recommend watching it. It gets one star out of five from me. Um, poorly performed, messy story, bad CG. It just wasn't a good movie. So I guess that'll do it for, for this review. Uh, if you must watch it, uh, I don't know if Redbox has it, but check your local library because libraries have DVDs and they're free. So, you know, if you really uh, wanted to watch it, it actually might even be on Netflix. I'm not even sure. But uh, that's the review for The Unborn. Thanks for watching. See you later.